Wisdom of Govberg, and welcome to the world of Omega. Today, I will be your guide to the proper care, service, and maintenance of your Omega Seamaster 300 coaxial master chronometer. Now, this is an automatic winding timepiece that can nevertheless be manually wound should it run down. Begin by taking the crown and turning it counterclockwise until it pops out of its threaded sleeve. Now, this is the only member of the 1957 trilogy that features a screw down crown. So take note, once you've threaded it out and it's popped out of its sleeve, you'll feel and hear the pop. Turn it 30 to 40 turns in a clockwise direction. This will be sufficient to start the movement and you'll know because the watch will begin to advance along its seconds track when the balance is beating. Now, at that point, you can set the time, put the watch on your wrist, and it will continue to energize itself by the case back winding mass. But if you wish to wind it to its maximum rated power reserve of 55 hours, simply continue turning the crown. Due to the bridle style mainspring, which slips to relieve any excess stress and strain, you cannot accidentally overwind this automatic timepiece. So simply listen for a subtle click or tick as the bridle slips. That's your sign the watch is fully energized. Now by pulling the crown out all the way to a second detent, you will note that the seconds hand halts. Now the best way to use this to synchronize to a known accurate reference time is to find a trustworthy source such as an online atomic clock and then waiting for the seconds hand to arrive at the index at 12 o'clock. You wait for that moment to coincide with a full withdrawal of the crown. Now set the time, set the same hour as your reference timer and set one minute ahead. Now wait for your reference time, your atomic clock to catch up to the hour, minute and second that you've set. Press the crown back in, resume the beat of the balance, now you've synchronized to a reference time. Now it's important to note that you should always, for the sake of structural integrity and water resistance, thread the crown back in firmly prior to wearing the timepiece. Now it's important to note that this watch does feature a bi-directional rotating bezel. It is not, per the current ISO standard, a modern diving bezel. Rather, it is a bi-directional historic homage to the very first Omega Seamaster 300 of 1957. Therefore, while it can be used via alignment with the hour or minutes hand to time a set interval, technically speaking, because it is not a unidirectional rotating bezel, it is not a contemporary diving instrument. Nevertheless, it is quite convenient for timing anything from cooking intervals to time between meetings at work. Now, the bracelet is sized by removing individual sizable links. These feature screws, and any standard jeweler screwdriver can be used to remove the links and size the bracelet. However, there is a push button slider within the clasp that allows for micrometric adjustment absent a jeweler's tool or jeweler's intervention. Now, there are a number of handling restrictions with respect to certain hazards you'll face in daily life. Due to the master coaxial, master chronometer status of this timepiece, it is effectively amagnetic. Therefore, rather than three principal hazards, this timepiece faces two principal hazards, water and shock. Now, water is self-explanatory. Once inside the watch, it can never escape, and the timepiece will require an expensive intervention to prevent immense cosmetic and mechanical damage. It's important to note that though this Watch is water resistant robustly and suitable for scuba diving on a pure water resistance basis. Nevertheless, you can help avoid accidental drowning. Remember, we spoke about the crown. Always ensure that prior to immersion, the crown is securely threaded into its sleeve. Now, it's also important to remember that the crown should not be used for winding or the setting of time when the watch is even wet, never mind submergence. Do not remove the crown if there's even water on the case as this can bypass the case seals. Moreover, it's important to remember that unlike physical specifications of a watch, water resistance and hermeticity will ebb with time as lubricants age and seals degrade. It's important to test annually with an authorized Omega service center to ensure that your watch still meets its factory rated water resistance metrics. Now, it's also important to note that extreme temperature should be taken into account because it too affects 
the movement and the seals of the watch. So keep the watch remote from temperatures exceeding 140 degrees Fahrenheit or below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 and 0 centigrade respectively. Shock and concussion are important considerations with fine mechanical timepieces. Now, this watch does feature a robustly shock-resistant free-sprung balance. However, certain extreme activities should be avoided while wearing the watch. Ensure the watch is disused during concussive sports such as tennis, golf, or batting, during firearms marksmanship, or the riding of ATVs or mountain bikes. Moreover, a sapphire crystal, as featured on the watch, is exceptionally resistant to scratches and abrasions. However, hard strikes against solid objects such as rock, marble, concrete, or metal can chip or shatter the sapphire. Ultimately, every fine mechanical watch constructed in traditional fashion will require a factory service. Omega recommends performing this intervention once every four to five years exclusively at an authorized service center. The best time to have your watch's total condition checked is during your annual water test. Now, a complete intervention will involve cosmetic refinishing of the case to factory standards, restoration of factory rated water resistance, as well as cleaning, oiling, and adjustment of the movement for precision and reliability. Performed solely at an authorized service center of Omega, where trained personnel, specialized equipment and tools, and original Omega factory parts are available to protect the value of your watch as both instrument and as investment. Moreover, these agencies solely are able to back all labor and parts invested with an Omega factory service warranty good for two years. Finally, visit our website at govbergwatches.com and call, text, or email our experts who will be happy to walk you through every phase of the ownership and care of this or any Omega timepiece.